of energy involved are combined with reassurance and potential, then those energies um, tend to create um, or facilitate the change into the new system more readily than if those energies are still being directed towards uh, the life conditions of survival. So if you're so busy, you know, working, there's no time to make money. So why stress about the inability to make money? It's just going to exacerbate it. So there's no excess energy to go out there and be achievement orientated. So what we've got to do is deal with the things that limit that from happening, which could be debt, um, poor budgeting, excess spending, all of those sorts of things. But then concentrate on the vehicle or the medium or becoming skilled at a medium that can get you what you want. Now, think about it. <coughs> Think about it, um, you know, what, what do people want? Generally speaking, you know, big picture. Um, and I know that it's not, you know, all cultures everywhere. So, so happy? Uh, fulfillment? Yeah, a bit more basic than that. So, so food? House? car, uh, um, free time, uh, no stress, um, um, fun, huh? Well, <laughs> you know, it'll be up there somewhere, but now, okay, so, so we, we could say, yep, uh, follow their passion, maybe. You know, follow their passion. In other words, their lifestyle passion. So maybe their passion is photography or something like that, or art or, or, or whatever. Okay? Now, the biggest mistake is they try and achieve all of that from a job. Now, You've just got to ask yourself, is a job the most appropriate medium through which to try and achieve all of that? Because, y you know, when you look at debt and, and then bills and in increasing prices, you've got to say, will a job keep up with all of that sort of stuff or will a job always have you behind the eight ball. So, if we say, if I'm going to try and buy a house, nothing wrong with wanting a house, but if you're going to try and get out of a job, then the normal pathway is, is, is let's say, a 30-year mortgage. And so now you spend 30 years in debt, debt-driven sameness. or debt-driven security, or debt-driven insecurity. And, and you don't have time and space to follow your passions and do all of those things. So then you start to say, well, okay, so hang on, I'm not happy, I'm not fulfilled, but I'm doing the right things. So I've bought a house and I'm, I've got myself a big fat mortgage and, and I've got a car on high credit and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So all that will ever get you is basically decades of sameness and decades of compromise and decades of settling for less. The fault is in the thinking and then the medium that that thinking excites. Now that's the conditioned process, isn't it? And so it's got to be the right way, because everybody is doing it. It's the enculturated process. But you've just got to think about, hang on, is this the most appropriate medium for this? 
it is the most appropriate medium for the maintenance of middle class and lower class. It is the most appropriate medium. But if it was the most appropriate medium for this, then don't you think that that would actually be the achievement model? But it's not. The achievement model isn't actually here. The achievement model is somewhere else. And the people that enjoy the freedom and the happiness and, the, and follow their passion, they have got there through a different medium. And unless you actually do the same things, then you're locked into this, you know, current um, uh, value system and being frustrated with your inability to achieve what it is that you say is important. But what's really being driven is the value system of this. And it's locked you into that um, process. And again, it's not right, wrong. It's just that we don't question the medium. We don't question the thinking or the value system. We, we kind of sort of just, you know, um, uh, 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 let's say, environmentally raised into it or, or, or driven into it. If excess energy is not present, there's a strong tendency to stay the same or hunker down. <laughs>